I think it's time I make another YouTube video. Thou shouldst embark upon the task without delay. Mm. Proceed forthwith and bring thy vision to fruition. But I just... I, I, don't, I don't know what to do it on. Perchance, thou hast oft conjured intriguing concepts ere now. Trust in thine ingenuity. Okay. And inspiration shall surely grace thy mind once more. Do, do, you, do you have any ideas, Molly? I'm just Pray. stumped. Might I suggest revealing to the esteemed audience the manner in which thou didst craft my being? Yeah. In Python, I believe. It was Python. Yes, I know how to control Chromecast devices with Python. So let me show you how. To the code. So I've installed Py Chromecast in my virtual environment. I've imported it into the assembly script. So now we can get going. The first thing we're going to do is find the Chromecast that we're going to be casting to. So we do py, py Chromecast get listed chrome so you can look for multiple chromecasts but we're just going to be using one and my chromecast is called family room speaker obviously you name it whatever you called your chromecast and, and this returns a chromecast object and a browser the browser we can use later to stop it searching and the chromecast is the object will be is the return turn of the search with all the Chromecast and what we'll use to send our URL to to cast to our device. Okay, so let's just print Chromecast so you can see the result. And this is called Chromecast. An array here with one element because there's only one thing that's called primary room speaker. Um, it's found this Chromecast and we've got the, the type it is, we've got its port number and host. Um, and so, yeah, so it's in an array. So let's just say that the cast device is Chromecast zero. There we go. So now we have that array and then well, we have a thing. We're just going to wait on it. This is just useful, just like, because it's, we're now going to wait and make sure that the search is finished and we found something that the, the thing we're looking for. And now we're going to need a media controller. So this is what we, media con controller. This is what we're going to use to send media to the device. So we cast dot media controller. Hints doesn't help here. Um, there we go. And now it's very simple. We do media controller dot play media. And here we need the URL and the type. So I'm going to be sending audio. So I'm going to send MP3. Um, and I think up here, what we'll do, we'll just print cast status now annoyingly when you will come back to your in a minute but just annoyingly was just one little small bit you it like at least it constantly sends the data to the cast and like and it won't wait until it's sent before finishing the script so the way i counter out so we'll just add a while true loop at the end to stop the script from finishing and so it continues to send data to to the Chromecast. Okay, so this is the basics of the script. We're sort of almost done. Um, you can see we need the URL. Now this has to be a stream of some sort. So you can't just send like a YouTube paid URL to it. You have to send the, um, the actual streaming URL, if that makes any sense, which hopefully we'll do soon. Um, and the way you can do that is with a package called PyTube. Now, PyTube is another package I've already um, installed it, and it will what it will do is it will give you the streams from a YouTube link. Start by getting the vid vid streams so pytube.youtube 
and I've got a YouTube link here already penciled into use and this is not going to get me taken down it's rights free hooray and we're going to look at the streams and I'll tell you what we're just going to print the vid streams here and I'm just going to return is it going to like that because I don't want to do the rest of this thing uh, quit okay so let's just run that takes a while because it's there we go so here are all the streams associated with this um url and there's like a million there because it, so you can see video the resolution the codec the resolution 720p and then we also have like audio ones and given that this is just an audio device we just want the audio streams so we can do audio streams equals vid streams dot filter by type oops no not that audio and this will give us audio streams see that work let's just run it Oh, I didn't print those. Nice. So here's all the audio streams, and we want the best quality, so we want the one with the highest bit rate. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to order by that thing, which was quoted as ABR. As in, we want the highest one first. We want it coming down in in value. The next one's one two eight. The next one's seventy, and then we've got it in descending, so we can just take the first. And now we have an audio stream, but it's not URL. You ask. That's easily remedied. PyTube does that for us. So now this is not an audio stream, it's an audio stream streams, it's an audio stream. Dot URL. And we'll just print that to prove it. Running here. And there we have the URL of this the audio stream that can be played by the Chromecast. So what we'll do is we'll get rid of that quick in print uh, finding audio stream found audio stream connecting to to you, to Chromecast. That means we're connected. And then sending media. So now it should all work. I'm going to hold this up to the microphone so you can hopefully hear it. Funny audio stream. Connected to Chromecast. Oh, we have an error. <laughs> I spelt media controller wrong. Let's go again. And there we have it. Ah, too loud. Um, we're now playing music through the the Chromecast, if I cancel the script, it obviously still continues and you can now control it just by your usual controls on the Chromecast. Uh, a little gotcha I'll just show you now. In that if something is playing already and you try and cast to it, it won't work. What you have to do is you have to say to the cast, the Chromecast, 
to quit whatever's playing. Um, I found this this was an annoying bug that I couldn't get to the bottom of. I'd ask it to play something, and then I'd want to Chromecast on my script, and it wouldn't do, and I couldn't work out why. But yeah, you've got to tell it to quit whatever it was playing, and then run it, and just to prove that that works, do it again. Lots of errors. Oh, wait for the wait. There we go. I won't let that play again. Okay, that's it. Fairly simple, straightforward. Um, how did I do the thing at the beginning? I think you may ask. Uh, I used the text to speech text to speech service to generate the audio file. I had a Flask app, which I hosted the file on so that it was available on my local network and passed that local host URL to the Chromecast to play the file. Um, pretty straightforward. And maybe see you next time.